Good morning everyone, this is Jeremy here at ExtremeWeatherTracker.com updating your tropical weather at 9.50 a.m. on August the 18th, 2012. We have three features in the tropics that I want to discuss today. The tropics are very active. The first is Tropical Storm Helene, which formed yesterday afternoon here in the extreme southwestern Gulf of Mexico. We also have Tropical Storm, rather Hurricane Gordon, located here in the uh, central Atlantic, north central Atlantic. And we also have Invest 94L located here to the southwest of the Cape Verde Islands, which could develop over the next few days. Let's start closest to home. Let's start with uh, Tropical Storm Helene has just been downgraded to a tropical depression. You can see the disorganized nature of the clouds, the thunderstorms, and the convection here located in the extreme southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Um, Helene moved on shore here uh, in around central Mexico here this morning. Although she is still very close to water and should continue to move off to the north uh, very slowly over the next four or five days, most models uh, wander uh, Helene around in this area of the world over the next uh, four to five days with weak steering currents available and uh, just really dissipate the system inland, although there are a couple of models uh, including the GFS model, which has been very accurate this year, that actually bring Helene back out over water and re-strengthen her and he head her north, and she gets caught up in, in this frontal system that's going to be passing uh, to her north and uh, east over the next few days. So if we look at um, the models for Helene, you can see located here, and you can see just the a bundle of models just wandering her around here all these models just conglomerated here together but you can actually see some of the models wanting to bring her uh, to the north and east uh, in association with this frontal passage that will be draped in, uh, over the southeast of the United States and back into Texas that should push offshore so we'll have to watch Helene over the next few days a uh, heavy rainmaker here for uh, central and northern Mexico could even get some rain up into south Texas with this but for now, we'll uh, leave Helene uh, dissipating in the next 48 uh, hours or so unless she somehow uh, moves back over water and re-strengthens. So that's something we'll have to be watching for um, over the next four or five days. Now moving back to the Atlantic uh, wide view, you can see Hurricane Gordon located here in the north central Atlantic almost off the screen. A very um, uh, well organized and uh, well put together storm. You can see the eye feature here. A uh, very uh, classic looking hurricane uh, moving off to the east and should be affecting the Azores uh, over the next few days as it moves on out to the east caught up in this uh, the, the uh, westerly flow. Uh, so no threat to the United States whatsoever. And uh, we also have the last thing I want to talk about today is Invest 94L. This is going to be the big story in the upcoming days. All the models are very, very bullish about developing this, and most models ramp this uh, this area of disturbed weather up into a major hurricane uh, before impacting the islands over the coming days. You can see already some. Uh, counterclockwise turning here associated with it uh, it's still not consolidated into a uh, central mass yet but it is starting to get its act together I believe the Hurricane Center currently has it at uh, 40 percent chance of development and I expect that uh, number will increase uh, with the increase of organization with the system very moist moist environment in here and uh, shear is forecasted to be very low in this area in the upcoming days as this moves off to the west and west-northwest over the next four to five days before impacting any land mass. Now if we go to the models of uh, Invest 94L, you can see the models initiated here. These are the Cape Verde Islands and the models are in fairly good agreement in bringing this to the west and west-northwest over the next uh, four to five days before possibly impacting the Lesser Antilles Islands, um, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic and Haiti here and then possibly recurving this system very close to the United States Bermuda will have to definitely uh, be watchful of this 
this and uh, it is to note if the system stays weaker as the European model is suggesting it could get into the Caribbean and possibly into the Gulf of Mexico coming up uh, possibly next weekend uh, but that's something we'll have to watch a weaker system would likely uh, take the Caribbean track and a stronger uh, very strong system as some of the models are suggesting would probably recurve to the east of the United States uh, possibly brushing the coastlines or perhaps near Bermuda over the next few days so this is something that's going to be the big story coming up this is one of those classic Cape Verde systems a long track system that everybody will be watching in this area over the next uh, week or so as this thing develops and I b do believe it will develop shear is going to be uh, extremely low and the environment is fairly moist and not a whole lot of dry air there is some to its north but I do believe that this system will develop over the next few days as it moves on off to the west so the first area to be impa impacted would be the lesser Antilles here so you guys need to pay attention in four or five days you possibly could have something uh, of uh, consequence coming your way also Puerto Rico here definitely needs to watch it the GFS I believe brings it uh, westward and then starts to recurve it here bringing it across Puerto Rico and then very close to the United States before recurving it so this is something a uh, classic pattern setting up that we definitely need to watch over the next few days uh, as this will probably be a dangerous storm developing out here uh, in the uh, western Atlantic so that's it for now uh, depression tropical depression here which was Helene has moved onshore we'll be watching for redevelopment possibly in this area of the world as this front tries to pull some of this energy to the north it's very possible that a piece of this energy breaks off from uh, uh, Helene and actually starts uh, developing in association with the frontal boundary that should push off into the Gulf of Mexico over the weekend so that's something we'll definitely have to watch and see if that happens but for now the main story will be invest 94L as it develops and this should become tropical storm Isaac over the next few days so Hurricane Gordon moving out to sea invest 94L coming to the coming westward and Helene moving on shore possibly redeveloping in this area of the world coming up in the next uh, five or six days so something we'll be watching and we'll be keeping you updated here at extremeweathertracker.com keep checking back with us you all have a very good day